This is a big pile of clothes. Hi, and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Judy and today I have a Halloween thrift haul. I feel like I found a lot of good things this year. I didn't find all of this at one Goodwill, obviously. I've been thrifting since they started putting Halloween stuff out, which was in, I think it was in June or July, actually. Okay, I kind of want to start with clothes. I feel like I found a lot. So first, I have this crew neck, and it says, Happy Halloween. It has a little pumpkin and a skeleton. The color um, is orange. This one's a vintage little crew neck. Um a size large i don't know do i have to say the sizes no i don't my sister actually found this one for me so thank you sister next one big dog vintage shirt and it just says halloween it has a skeleton and the big dog it is super big though but still you can't go wrong with these pjs and then i got this haunted mansion little crew neck and then in the back it says, a ghost will follow you home. I wish it was cold here in Arizona. But whatever, I couldn't leave these pieces behind. Okay, I have another little vintage sweater cardigan. But it has like little patches. And it says trick or treat. It has pumpkins, cats, haunted houses. It has all the Halloween goodies one of my favorite things that i've been finding or to thrift for are vests look at this purple vest this one's so cute and what i love most about it is the little buttons our little witch hats i love these um and then i don't know why but this one just gives me like so much nostalgia Okay, one of my favorite ones, just because I am more of a neutral girly, is this vest. Another vintage vest, but this one's just all black. Um, it has like little jewels, but then it has skeletons here, and then it has one in the back. So this one for sure is one of my favorite ones. I can't wait to style these. I'm just going to have fun with these. Like, I want to be a teacher so I can like wear these. <laughs> And then I have another vest. This one's more like a cute type because it has like a little bear with pumpkins and then um, candy corn in the back. And then I have a long sleeve and it just has some ghosts. And it says boom. And look at the little jewels. Up next is another um, Halloween vest. Oh my God, I cannot. I love these like look at how cute are these so it says trick or treat and then there's a bear with like a pumpkin there super cute nothing in the back nothing in the back but i love it next up is a turtleneck and this one has um witch hats it has little wands and then um it looks like a fox but i'm assuming it's a cat but this is cute too. This is another turtleneck and this one has pumpkins and it has, they have little witch hats. This one's so cute. All of this is vintage, okay? Unless I say it, that's why I couldn't leave it behind. Cause I'm like, oh my God, everything is so freaking cute. Um, then I have this little sweater. This one has um, like spider webs and spiders embroidered in there. Super cute. This one's so good too. This one is a crew neck and it says happy Halloween and it just has a pumpkin and then the moon in the background. I love this one. Hopefully, I kind of want to give this one to my husband because it's like not girly, you know? This one right here. Okay, this one's modern spirit Halloween little shirt. It is a size XL, but it's, I don't know if it's a kid XL or is it a really like cropped shirt but i'm gonna wear it oversized it 
doesn't look like it's oversized because I tried it on, but it's super cute. I grabbed it because you know, Spirit Halloween is expensive too. Okay, moving on to home stuff. My husband picked up this um, like projector light for outside of the house. This one was kind of expensive for being in the thrift store, but um, if you get these at the store, they're pretty pricey. So um, yeah, and also when we tried it on, it doesn't have a skeleton, but it's ghosts flying around. Um, but I still liked it, so we brought this one home. The next thing that I picked up are these blinking Halloween lights, and these are vintage. Um, dude, they're from Kmart. They don't make them like this anymore. These were just $3.49. Okay, next up I got this little bat. It was only 99 cents. This one is from 1994. His eyes do light up. Next up, I found some cute gift bags. I don't know if I'm going to use them because I want to keep them. But like, I can't be hoarding stuff. So this one's, there's a witch. And it says, Happy Halloween. This one's my favorite one. The little ghost and the pumpkin. And then a little scarecrow these are so cute this is table decoration which i don't know why like how does this go in a table i'm gonna hang him up but it's frankenstein i don't think this is vintage i don't know if it is vintage there's no date or anything but frankenstein i love frankenstein so i had to bring him with me okay more like home decor type of thing these were 349 um these are just orange lights these were 449 and these are um purple orange and red oh and we actually got two of those my husband is the one that's picked these up actually so and then for my daughter i found a bunch of halloween books so we have a halloween scare in new york all aboard the spooky express miss fiona stupendous pumpkin pies <laughs> i used to love this one this one was my favorite i spy it's the great pumpkin charlie brown this one as well brings back so much memories the little old lady who was not afraid of anything food fright this one is like a fun book because like there's like pop-ups in there i love these the silly ghost a haunted pop-up book look how cute these are i cannot how freaking oh i love these and then I got her this sticker doodle boo book. Um, this was $1.49. And it's just like a bunch of pages where she can put like all these stickers. So I thought that was fun for her. If you guys remember this book, I also got this one in a dark, dark room. I'm just so excited that I get to read all of these books to somebody now. Snappy Sounds book. I think these are vintage. Some like these pop-up ones are vintage. But like this one makes noise. I love pop-up haunted house book. Look at how freaking cool these are. <laughs> Stella Luna. I used to love this book as well. And then I found these um, Mickey halloween ears for like a dollar look how cute and they light up this one for my daughter it says stay spooky it's just a little romper i kind of don't like how this year they have a lot of like um marshall's tj maxx type of stuff but i got these little salt and pepper shakers these were 349 which i'm surprised because a lot of the um TJ Maxx stuff was a little bit overpriced for being a thrift store. So yeah, but that one wasn't, those weren't, so I'm glad. And then I got these vintage um, cookie cutters. I cannot get rid of this box because look at how cool this is. 
just for 99 cents. Um, so yeah, you know. Look. For cutting cheese, cranberry jelly, and thin bread slices. Or for cutting our clay. Hmm. Multi-purpose. This casper it is not by trade masters so i'm kind of sad about that but it's still vintage seasons brand and then i found these two little snow globes they turn on and the light switches colors i saved the best for last this is like the only cool thing that i've found so far for my daughter because i haven't really found a lot of like vintage like cute stuff for her this is gonna be a hoard because it is for like five to like six year olds but um i do put her on oversized stuff so look a vintage casper crew neck how fucking cool and then i love that the colors are like girly for my daughter all right that is all for my halloween haul um i had to go through it fast because my daughter is taking a nap right now and then i know that if she wakes up everything's gonna be like kind of ruined she's not gonna let me so yeah that's all thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye